Okay, now, I just wanted to show y'all something. If you trust the government, if you trust what they say after this, then you are a fool. And it's not going to take long to show you. The U.S. Department of Defense's official website, they have an article, Airstrikes Hit ISIL Terrorists in Syria and Iraq. Now, if you read it, it goes on to, to give you more detail about it. U.S. and coalition military forces have continued to attack Islamic State of Iraq and the, and the Levant terrorists in Syria, Syria, Syria and Iraq. Please excuse me for that. Um, now, ISIL. What is ISIL? The Islamic State of Iraq and Levant. What does Levant? We know what Iraq is. What is the Levant? The Levant is, if you go to uh, Wikipedia, the Levant is a broader area. It is, it is a broader area of the Middle East, including parts of Jordan, parts of Egypt, parts of Israel. Now, while you're at Wikipedia, and you can just, if you put in ISIS and ISIL, as this article says, but if you Googled ISIS and ISIL, they're the same group, right? Um, ISIS is the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. ISIL is Islamic State of Iraq and Levant. So basically, it's the same thing, but encompassing a bigger area. Um, now, this is important because I'm about to show you a clip of Obama saying that they've trained ISIL forces and that they're using them. Assad has to go, and I'm confident. Okay, this is, uh, I, I need to give credit to where I found this at. You can see it on the screen. It is a YouTube page called Bible or Traditions. And basically, they're, um, the beginning of it before this section is really just people quoting how Assad, the leader of Syria, needs to be taken out of power. Just to give you a little context. And Assad will go. It's not a question of... If it's when, as I've said before, this aspect of our strategy was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up training of. ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. All right. Now the dramatic show starts where they um, they just start mocking our government. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to go back so you can see. Um, so you can see the channel and the title of this video if you want to watch the rest of it. But um, people have been saying for a while that. The United States has been backing terrorists. And if you need to hear it again, I'm going to back up. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including... Hold on, let me back up a little bit. We've more. also been clear that Assad has lost all legitimacy to lead. What we've done is organize the international... Again, I, I backed up, and this to give you context, this is just them saying that the leader of Syria needs to be taken out of power. ...national community. Saying Assad has to go, and I'm confident that Assad will go. It's not a question of if, it's when. As I've said before, this aspect of our strategy was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. Up we're speeding up training of ISIL forces. Up we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Okay, so if you're kind of lost, <laughs> that hadn't been that long, but if you're kind of lost, let's go back to the Department of Defense. And they call ISIL terrorists. They're attacking ISIL bases. They call them terrorists. But then you just heard from Obama's mouth that they are training ISIL. They're using these people as pawns. When it, when it serves our function, the, the United States or the United Nations or whatever, 
when they serve our function and they're doing what we want, then we call them rebel groups. When they're doing what we don't want, then we call them terrorists. Now, this is why, now, as you saw at the very end of the part I showed you in this uh, YouTube video, um, this is why um, the government is upset with Russia bombing um, Syria. Now, earlier, earlier uh, last week, Russia bombed a, a couple of uh, forces, quote unquote, rebel forces. And the United States was angry. They said, you're bombing the wrong people. You're not bombing the terrorists. You're bombing, you're bombing the rebels that we have in place to help overthrow the Syrian government, which is terrorism, by the way, to support a group that's trying to overthrow a government. That is terrorism. But anyway. The U.S. was angry with Russia for bombing those groups, and it was in our news. But why is Russia bombing them? Because they're terrorists. They're trying to overthrow the Syrian government. They are terrorists. They're the same group that the uh, government, that the United States government has been fighting. So th this is, you know, I don't even know what else to say. If you, let me, I'm going to show you one more time. If you believe the government after this, you are a fucking fool. Please excuse my language. You're a fool. Watch. Look at this. This is the U.S. Department of Defense's official website. They call ISIL terrorists. Airstrike hit ISIL terrorists in Syria, Iraq. Now, we're going to go back to Obama talking about training these people and using them. And they did the same. They're doing the same thing with Al-Qaeda. If you Google... Including volunteers from Sunni tribes. Let me back up. I'm getting ahead of myself. As the international community saying... If you Google Al-Qaeda and uh, ISIS, basically, okay, if you did, if you research ISIS, uh, excuse me, if you research Al-Qaeda, you'll see that the U.S. used Al-Qaeda in the past. They helped him. Bin Laden, they helped him in his organization organization when russia was a, was a, such a threat to the united states when russia occupied afghanistan the united states used these quote-unquote freedom fighters and equipped them with weapons and ammunition to fight against russia they're doing the same thing in syria with these other groups now same thing with uh, uh saddam hussein saddam hussein the united states helped him to gain power because they didn't like the last leader the, the last dictator and they used them to fight against Russia. And then, of course, we all know what happened with bin Laden. We already know what happened with Hussein. Once they uh, they, they stopped, quote unquote, playing the game and they 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 lost, you know, they, they didn't know their place anymore. Then we started advertising them as terrorists and, and inhumane. You know, Saddam Hussein was an inhumane dictator. Um, I'm Listen to his. I'm going to show you one more time and then I'm going to shut up. Let's go back to the Department of Defense. You can go to Google. Google is an awesome thing. You can go to any, you can go to uh, alternate media websites. You can go to mainstream media websites. You can go to government websites. You'll, you'll see the same thing. Airstrikes hit ISIL terrorists in Syria and Iraq. U.S. and coalition military forces have bombed ISIL terrorists. Now let's listen to what Obama says about the ISIL terrorists. Assad has to go, and I'm confident that Assad will go. It's not a question of if, it's when. As I've said before, this aspect of our strategy was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up. What else do you need to hear? You cannot trust what they tell us on mainstream media, on CNN and Fox News and those sort of outlets. Those are owned by corporations. They're not telling you the truth. And um, this kind of thing, this is why the United States is hated 
overseas by many other countries, not just by Islamic countries, but many countries, because we poke and we pry and we put our hands in and we overthrow governments and we play uh, the world police or really the world bully. And then we try to make everyone, we demonize everyone else and try to make it seem like everyone else is evil. This is disgusting. These are human beings. They're not pawns, but yet the, the, these powerful figures in our in the U.S. government and in the United Nations and in some of those countries over there, some of those Middle Eastern countries, like they're using these people like pawns. They don't give a fuck about the Middle East. They don't care about the Middle East. They're just trying to put do. They're, they're just trying to put things in line with the the order that they want to established for themselves they don't care about how the people are being treated over there because if they did they wouldn't be funding terrorists and then bombing terrorists at the same time it doesn't make any sense they're talking out of both sides of their mouth they're telling the u.s public one thing and because we don't pay attention because we only watch what they tell us on their on their controlled media outlets who do not who are not free to tell the truth um the heavily censored media outlets, um, we don't know. Americans are blind and ignorant because we just listen to whatever they tell us and show us on the screen. We take it for face value and we don't do any research. And that's very unfortunate. I'm going to show you one more time this, you know, the information on this video so you can watch it yourself. And if you need further clarity on ISIL or ISIS, or if they are actually separate things, just Google. Google ISIL versus ISIS. And you will see different people have already asked, well, what's the difference? And uh, there isn't no difference in the organization. There's a difference in the name because ISIL is the new name. And the new name uh, represents a larger area of influence. That's the only difference. It's the same group that the U.S. will show you pictures of them killing terrorists. Excuse me. Uh, they, they're the same group that the U.S. will show you videos of them killing Christians and they're going, they're slaughtering all these Christians and that sort of thing. Well, I can't say that that didn't happen. I don't know. But all I know is that our government used them as an excuse to go over there. But then yet they're using those same forces to uh, overthrow Syria. So what does that tell you about ISIS? What does that tell you about our government? Wake up, y'all. If you believe the government after this, then you're an idiot. You don't have to take my word for it, but do some research. But I'm, I'm, this is enough evidence right here. You know, and that's all I got to say.